Hi YouTube. Hey, this is Christian Brindle, Medicare Health Plan Expert and Specialist. I hope you're having a fantastic open enrollment period. I hope you're not getting too overwhelmed by all the commercials, advertising, mailers, phone calls, and maybe even some smuck showing up on your doorstep. Um, today we're going to be talking about what you should be looking at in terms of characteristics in an insurance agent. Let's get right into this. If you're not familiar with my company, um, we work with people in 12 different states here at the moment. Those states are going to be Utah, Idaho, Colorado, Washington, Oregon, California, Texas, Alabama, West Virginia, Florida, South Carolina, and Virginia. I think I got them all. Um, if I didn't, though, they're listed down in the description anyway of this video. And watch this video all the way to the end if you'd like to get our phone number and contact information if you'd like to get in touch about your Medicare health plan. But what characteristics should you really be looking at in terms of when you're picking an agent, right? Um Let's say you are turning 65. There are probably 100,000 different people trying to get your business, right? There's a, there's a, a huge amount of people that want to talk to you and be your best friend when you're turning 65 and getting on to Medicare. It's a very competitive thing. They're all kind of competing for your business. So who do you know who to trust? Well, here's my advice. I think the first thing that you should be looking at is you never, ever, ever want to sign up with someone who is what's known as a captive agent. I'll kind of break that down to you. A captive agent in the insurance industry is defined as an agent that can only represent one company or maybe one or two companies. Maybe they work for an organization and their job is to, you know, push the products of that particular organization, but not necessarily select a plan that's going to be best suited for your particular needs and preferences. So that's number one. Um, Number two, I would say, in my personal opinion, is I think that you want someone that's experienced. Now, this is going to be a little bit um, controversial because we've all, all of us that work as insurance agents have been new in the business. We've all been in the place where we've been, you know, kind of wet behind the ears a little bit and kind of, you know, not very experienced in terms of kind of what we, we have... Um, under our belt in terms of our experience levels, right? So it's it's going to be tough. But if it was me and I was turning 65, I would want an agent that has at least three years of experience. Um, and the reason I say that is because you want someone that knows what the hell they're doing. Anytime you work with an agent that's going through growing pains, you're going to go through that growing pains with them. You want to make sure that they're going to last too. Uh, a crazy statistic, no matter, depending on the source you're looking at, anywhere between 90 to 95% of insurance agents that work as insurance agents in the country don't last in the business longer than three years. So if you work with somebody that's in their first year, there's probably a 90 plus percent chance that they're not going to be around a few years from now, which means if you sign up on a plan with them and they exit the picture, you're completely on your own when it comes to taking care of yourself, right? You don't have anyone to call. You can call the insurance company, but I mean, let's face it, how much more helpful is it to call an apps, a, 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 an advocate, somebody who's not making minimum wage sitting in a call center talking to you somewhere, somebody who is knowledgeable, somebody who's experienced? You don't want to give that up. Um, and, and more often than not, people that stay in the business longer than three years actually stay for a relatively longer amount of time. That's not all the case. That's not always the case. You could still run into somebody that maybe retires and things like that. But we'll get into that right now, though. The other thing I would say, the third thing is you don't want to work with an agent that's too old. That's going to sound a little harsh, too. But you got to keep this in mind. You're selecting your Medicare health plan for yourself. You need to take care of you and not worry about taking care of everybody else. Why don't you want to work with somebody who's older? Well, I would usually argue, I would argue that number one, there's a good chance that they're going to just up and retire on you one day. Or they'll pat, and if they do retire, they'll either leave you high and dry, or number two, they'll get less involved in their business so they won't know what's going on as much, or number three, you will, they'll pass you off to some stranger that you didn't sign up for in the first place, that maybe you don't like that person. They're going to be a completely different person. Um, you don't have much control over that. The second thing is, and this is kind of the dark reality of this aspect, they might pass away, right? I mean, you want your agent to be with you over the long haul. Um, 
you don't need to run out and grab an 18 year old agent. But you know, me myself, I'm 28 years old. As long as Medicare is going to be around, I'm going to be here for my clients. I have no intentions of ever changing that. And so my clients find comfort of that. You know, I'm, I'm relatively a young guy and I'm going to be here and they know I'm going to be here. Um, and I'm, I'm right in the middle of the, of, of the trenches with them every step of the way. So that's important. Now, what else do you need to look for an insurance agent? In my opinion, I think they need to specialize in Medicare. Specialize in Medicare. I talked to someone just this morning where they were talking to another agent who, you know, was... Now, here's the thing, and I'll tell you a quick story about this. They, th- this other agent they were talking to was a financial planner. It looks like that was kind of her specialty, doing investment products, annuities, things like that. And um, But they also did Medicare but probably on the side. Now they he, now this person told my client that she knew who I was. She knew who our company. She'd heard our name before. I had never heard of her or her company. Which tells me they don't do a whole lot of with Medicare. They might be a big deal in the investment um industry, but they don't do much about Medicare cuz I would know who they were probably if that was the case. Um my opinion is if you try to specialize in everything, you will be a specialist in nothing. Let me say that again. If you try to specialize in everything, you will be a specialist in nothing. And you want an agent that's a specialist, that's very, very knowledgeable. You always heard that old saying, um, jack of all trades, master of none. That's what you get. There's a lot of insurance agents running around that they're trying to do car insurance. They're trying to do investment products. They're trying to do Obamacare plans are trying to do life insurance. They're trying to do Medicare. They're trying to do homeowners insurance. They're trying to do everything, right? Um, and they don't know a whole lot about any of those things because all of those industries are ever changing in terms of what's good, what's available, what the regulations are. And there's almost no way to keep up with all that stuff. It's a full time job for me to keep up with everything going on in my world. So, in my opinion, I think you're better off with a specialist. It's not worth it to work with somebody that does your car insurance or something like that just because it's convenient. He probably won't recommend you the best thing, nine times out of ten. I'm harsh, I understand that, but that's what you need to know. Um, those would be my criteria in terms of what you need to look for in an agent that's coming open enrollment period. Don't just sign up with anybody. Don't just call a 1-800 number and sign up with someone in a call center because then you're on your own. You have no advocate there to take care of you. Agent doesn't cost you anything. It's free. The agent gets compensated from the insurance company to provide you service. It's the same exact price as if you went and signed up on the street on your own. If you'd like to contact with, if you'd like to contact me and talk with me about your Medicare health plan, we'll put our number big on the screen here, and give us a call. Like I said, we're in 12 states; they're all listed below. Um, we'd love the opportunity to be able to talk with you. If you, enjoyed, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor: drop a like on the video. It helps us reach more people just like you who need to hear our message. Comment on what you'd like to see on future videos and subscribe for future Medicare information. Have a great day and take care.